Hi everyone, my name is Nicole. Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Nickels with Nicole. I am a partial cash budgeter on a mission to pay off our family's massive debt before the year 2025 is over. If you're into financial freedom and would like to follow our family's journey along, please like and subscribe. We'd love to have you here. In this video, I'm going to unstuff the envelopes from last week and we will stuff the money for this week's paycheck. So let's get into the unstuffing first. This is my, my daily cash wallet that goes with me everywhere for the things that we spend on a day-to-day -day basis. So in the first envelope, we have groceries. Let's put this out of the way. Groceries, let's see how much. Looks like we have several ones and a couple of fives, so we'll set that aside. This is money that we did not spend in this category, which is great. And H and H, which is health and household, we have, let's see, we have a dollar. Under gas, let's see, we have one a couple of ones five ten and twenty so i'm going to go ahead and take the five and the ones and set those aside and we will save those normally we do save the tens and the twenties as well but for this particular budget this week we are going to roll over this thirty dollars to be used in the upcoming week so i'll leave that in there but it is considered unspent we're just rolling it over and under eats, we don't have anything, but we do have some gift cards in there that I'll go over with you later. Under personal, I'm, I did not remove my personal money from my checking account, um, but I am, I've am. i decided that I am going to. I just did not pull it out right now. We have miscellaneous and nothing under give. Okay, so let's close that up and let's see how much we've saved. So we have 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. 29 dollars saved plus that 30 dollars that we left in gas. So a pretty successful week of money not spent. Let's go ahead and put these in our challenge folder. Oops. So here is our one dollar savings challenge. Let's just shove the ones in there. Okay. And here's our five dollar one. Okay. And this is where we normally keep the tens and twenties that I left over over here in gas. What we're going to do with these in the end, I believe we're going to roll them up into um, our emergency fund or our uh, fund for house maintenance. We're not sure at the moment. We'll see where we land in a, in a few months. Now let me show you our budgeting for the upcoming weeks. We get paid twice a month. So this amount here is our starting balance for what we're going to allocate towards our variable expenses. We typically only need to focus on variable expenses and a little bit of sinking funds because we already have our bills, our subscriptions, our savings, and our debt money already pinned down to an exact amount and automatically deposited and automatically debited from our from those accounts. So we, we skip this section and our focus is over here on variable expenses and our and our, our debt. We cash budget what's left over after bills and debts are paid. So this is our budget for the leftover amount. We have a starting balance of 1,197. And here are our categories. Most of these stay the same, but our some of these will change as we go along. And here's what we've allocated towards variable expenses. We have a total of $677 allocated towards groceries, household, pet food, etc. We have a remainder of $420, which we're going to then put over into our, our um, extra debt payment that we owe. This is aside from minimum payments, so we're going to pay an extra $420 for this paycheck. 
We do get paid twice a month, so this will be happening twice a month. And then we are left with zero, a uh, zero base budget. All right, so from here, after we figure this out, we flip over and we go over to our paycheck denominations. This is to help me know how many of which bills I need to withdraw from the bank. So for example, for groceries, I need two $100 bills and two 20s and so forth. I just do the same thing all throughout here. And then we add up each column right here. And so I can go to the teller and say, I need two 100s, I need four 50s, I need 32 20s, etc. All right, so today we're going to be stuffing $1,197. So let's get, go ahead and get into that. All right, what we're gonna do first is count the money that we have so that we don't mess up something along the way. I'm gonna use my calculator because I've not done this on video before, so I wanna make sure that I'm not messing up anything. All right, let's move this right here. Oh, I wanna let you guys know this book right here before I get started, it's this is a book that my book club just finished reading and it's really good. I definitely recommend it. Now I'm not doing bookish content on this channel, but I will recommend any books that we do read along the way. So Silent Patient is, it is a psychological detective book and you immediately know right away at the in the first line that the one of the main characters killed her husband and it, it leaves you wondering, okay, what else could be said in this book? And it's really good. There's a lot of twists and turns and I really enjoyed it. Okay. All right, let's, let's count our money right here. 100, 200, 51, 52, two, four, six, eight, one, two, four, six, eight, two, two, four, six, eight, three, two, four, six, eight, four, two, four, six, eight, five, two, four, six, eight, six, two, four. So six hundred and forty dollars. I apologize if you hear my dogs in the background. Then we have 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57. 1,197. So we got what we need. Let's go ahead and set this up. Okay. All right. Let's get into the cash stuffing of our wallet. So for groceries, we allocated $245. We need the two 100s, two 20s, and a five. For health and household, we allocated $95. That's a 50, two 20s, and a five. House and household is for mostly household. We do keep a like an FSA or H HSA card in here for health expenses, and when that runs out, then we will allocate cash for it. For gas, we allocated another twenty-five dollars because we're letting thirty dollars roll over from the prior week. So now we have 20, 40, 50, 55. Okay, for eats, we're putting $60 in. So it's a 50 and a 10. We do have some gift cards in here that I, I definitely recommend. We got them from Costco. It is a local barbecue joint and we spent, I think, $70 and got $100 worth of gift cards. That way we can treat the family when we go out to eat and also save money. Because even though you're on a journey to pay off your debts, you shouldn't you should not limit yourself to being able to never go out to eat with your family or do enjoyable things. You just need to plan for them and allocate for them. Obviously, we can't go out and do those things every day, but we can at least plan something to do um, every pay period. 
So for personal money, I did not take out the cash from my personal checking accounts, but I am gonna go do that today or tomorrow and put it in here. I realized that when I'm swiping my debit card, I'm not paying attention to what I'm spending as much as when it is in my hand. So I am gonna pull out my cash and put it in this envelope. For miscellaneous, we are allocating $40, that's two 20s. When we first started cash budgeting like this, we did not have a miscellaneous folder and we quick, quickly found out that we need to have one and uh, because we our washer and dryer went out and while we were waiting for a new one, we were having to go to the laundromat to wash our clothes, which is not, it's not an emergency, but obviously we didn't plan on our washer and dryer going out and we certainly didn't plan on having to go to the laundromat and allocate money for that. So. What we did back then was we used our household money for laundry soap that we needed and we just, it, it was kind of challenging that week. So that's what we did, decided we needed to have a miscellaneous folder. And if we didn't spend anything in this folder by the end of the pay period, then we would just save it. So it's another way to save if you don't, if you don't spend it. And for give, we're going to just put $5. There's nothing in there right now. One, two, three, four, five. This is aside from any charity it's just to be able to have some dollars on you to give to anyone who might need it as you meet them on the street or at the store um yeah that's what that's for okay so that's it for our our wallet let's go ahead and close this up and go into our short-term folder these are short-term or like revolving sinking funds these are things that we save up for probably throughout the month or a month and a half, and we dip into them as we need them. The first one is pet food. We do have six dogs, so we allocate $60 a pay period to for their food. Okay, so in this folder we have 50, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. $152. Under car maintenance, we allocate $20 a pay period, and this right now is just for gas money. I'm sorry, not gas money, <laughs> oil changes. We have 50, 70, 90, 95, 100, 101, 2, 3, 4, $104. Pretty soon we'll be needing an oil change. We would also normally put money in here for tires, but we did recently, a few months ago, we did buy new tires for the car. We do just have one car now. Because, as you know, in an earlier video, we sold our big truck. So we just have the one car to love and care for. Thanks to my mom, we were able to buy her, her car that she was selling. Um, so again, thank you, mom. All right, espresso, we put $20 a pay period here. If you think about it, why would I be putting money into espresso? Why am I doing that at all? Well, we do love a latte at Scooters and that's like $7 a latte. So by, having, by using the Nespresso machine at our house and making ours at home, we're saving like $6.50 a cup. So we can literally have a latte every day for about 75 cents. And so this is worth, it's worth it. it. We're paying a lot less money for the same luxury of having a great latte. So in this right now, we have two, four, six, eight, one, one hundred dollars $100. I think when we get to about 120, we will then buy our espresso pods. We do not get them from Nespresso, the company. We get them from Angelino's because they're even cheaper and just as good as Nespresso. Okay, and I'll leave that link in my description if anyone has an espresso machine and they're interested in that. Okay, so nothing is going into family fun this week. For lawn and garden though, um, like I said before, we do have uh, six dogs. We need to overseed our yard twice a year in the in the spring and in the fall in order to keep our lawn from looking like a mud pit. So we have $75 here for that. I think we need about 150 to be able to do the seeding in, in March. 
Okay, lawn and garden. And nothing is going into house. Um, this is just general house things that we need specific to the house, like um, drain cleaner or some shut-off valve. Like, I think we need a shut-off valve for a toilet downstairs, things like that. So anything that the house might need that's kind of small. Okay, so that is our short-term or revolving sinking funds folder. Now we're going to go over into the big girl binder. This is all of the items or all of the things that we should have saved for in the past throughout the year that we usually just dealt with as they came up, which like your vehicle registration, tax preparation, your escrow account, personal property taxes. So now that we have this folder, we can better plan for those things and save little by little instead of having to come up with it all at once. Okay, so what we're sinking today are just two of them. Um, this one is a loan or payment to my mom. She was able to pay off what the first card that we want wanted to pay off for our debt. Um, it's the first card in line. She paid it off and by doing that, she saved us $2,000 and we're able to pay it off a month and a half to two months early. So the way we're paying her back is by adding money to this folder for her. Okay, so we're gonna put $420, which is our extra debt payment for this pay period. The next pay period we'll be adding the minimum payment that we would have normally paid towards that card plus another 420. So that's how much money a month we'll be paying her back to get to that amount. And we should be done by September. So let's count. 2, 4, 6, 8, 1, 2, 4, 6, 8, 2, 2, 4, 6, 8, 3, 2, 4, 6, 8, 4, 2, $420. The only reason I have 20s is because I went to the ATM to pull the money out of our debt account and they just gave it to me in 20s. Um, I much would have preferred a 20 and 4 100s, but that's what I have. Again, thank you mom for helping us out with this card and I, I can't wait to actually be, you know, be done with it and move on to the next one. You really helped us out so much. Okay, so for appliance maintenance, salt and filter, we have a, I have a little note here for myself, a, a little label. Um, we have a water softener at home and it requires salt. We're going to buy a year's worth of salt and a year's worth of air filters and ice maker filters. Um, and so this week we're going to allocate $32 for that. Okay. So that is our adulting binder. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video or found it informative or gave you some ideas on things that you can do if you were wanting to start cash budgeting. Please like and subscribe if you would like to follow us on our journey. Talk to you soon. Bye for now. Oh.